Hey, look, <laughs> I'm a slug. Get, get it? Cause, cause, cause I'm, cause I'm slow. All right, another macro pad. And which one do we have here? Well, you read the title. It's it's the May pad that you can get on the Key Hive website. Now this. Kit comes with everything you need, except for switches and keycaps. There's one more feature that I wanted with my macro pad, because I wanted it to some kind of be a little switch tester, as well as functioning as a macro pad. So I decided to give it hot swap, and that's why I bought some male Mac sockets that I'm going to be installing on the PCB. Now, here's a place you're not used to seeing. Uh, this is my workbench, I guess you can call it. This is where I do my... Uh, uh, less safe stuff, I guess you can say. I don't know. I'm building it here because I don't want to move my soldering station upstairs. So I'm going to start off by installing the Milmax sockets because I just want to get it out of the way already. And now here's a mini guide to installing Milmax sockets. So first off, you want to install them into their pinholes. If you can get it in there, come on. Awesome. All right, I got the sockets inserted and now I'm going to place a piece of tape over them, just like that. And this makes it so that they won't fall out while you're soldering them in. Of course, you could fill out a whole row and then tape it over to solder them all, but I'm just doing this for demonstration. All right, so now just do it 20 more times. All right, so I finished soldering all the sockets. Uh, here's what it looks like on the back side. I didn't do the cleanest job, but just, just, who cares? All right, next I'm gonna be soldering the diodes. All right, so essentially what you want to do is you want to take the diode and insert it into its respective place. Uh, I'm having, oh, there we go. So insert it, keeping in mind polarity, remember. Black bar of the diode is the cathode, which corresponds to the square pad. Now, after you've put the diode in, just go to the back and bend the pins just like this, so it won't fall out while you're soldering it. All right, so here's the finished PCB. I soldered in all the diodes, and I also soldered in the Pro Micro. Oh yeah, also, uh, I put on the back plate using the included screws and standoffs. So now I'm going to show you how to flash the firmware. All right, so first, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to QMK Configurator, and then uh, over here for a keyboard, you're going to find Keyhive slash Maypad. That's what it's going to be labeled as. Let's see how quickly I can find it. Oh, oh, there we go. Keyhive Maypad. So find that, and over here, you can determine the key bindings. You can choose this and click down here. Ooh, that's Z now. And there, ooh, that's eight, but I'm just gonna have it as the number pad. Now I'm you're gonna click compile and you're gonna wait for that to bake. Alright, so after that's done, you click download firmware button. Uh sure. And then now you have the hex file. Next, uh if you haven't already download QMK toolbox, oh when you open it up, you'll see this local file. Click open and then insert that hex file that you just downloaded and then we're switching over to the other camera so as you can see i have the pro micro plugged in and on qmk toolbox i have auto flash selected so what you're going to do is you're going to want to jump uh, ground and reset which are the second and third pin on the right here um, i'm using this pair of scissors and just want to jump that connection there we go and then uh, i already have firmware uh, the, f the firmware flashed on this Pro Micro, but uh, when you do it, the QMK toolbox should start uh, uploading the firmware onto the Pro Micro, and that's basically it. Alright, and now the last step for me is to wait for the switches to arrive. Alright, so the switches have arrived. As you can see, they are the Alco CS Ocean Blue switches. They are some very nice budget tactiles. I've already looped the springs and now I'm going to put them in the keypad, the macro pad. All right, the switches are in. Uh, these switches are three pin, which is not ideal, but whatever. All right, boom. The keycaps are on. As you can see, this key is kind of scuffed, but again, whatever. And it is time for the typing test. 